Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about limits that do not exist. So let's just jump right into it. So the first type of limit that is guaranteed to not exist is a limit where there's a jump. So here's a function here. Um, so this is going to be a piecewise function and it's constant. So when x is greater than 1, we have that this will be 3. So let's see, here's the first part of this piecewise function. And then for the other part, um, otherwise this function will equal negative 2. So that's when it's less than or equal to 1. So there you go. Okay, so for this particular limit, so as x approaches 1, so just look at what happens. So if I'm approaching um, x equals 1 on this side, it looks like the limit is approaching 3. However, if I'm on this side of the function, it looks like the limit is approaching negative 2. So it's approaching two different values, and you have to approach the same consistent value. So we'd say then that this limit does not exist. So this is one clear case where that would happen. So for my next example, I'm going to use the function f of x equals 1 over x. So I'll just draw a really kind of basic sketch of this. So it looks like this. And so think about the limit as x approaches 0. So if I'm approaching 0 on this side, so it looks like it's just going up and up and up and up. But then on this side, so it's kind of this a very similar idea to the last one. So it's not approaching some like uniform value. And if I'm on the right side, this function is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger forever. But if I'm on the left side, it's just getting smaller and smaller and smaller, more and more negative, really, right? So these are once again approaching two different values. We'd say that the function is more formally not bounded. And so once again, this one does not exist. Okay, so the last one is a limit that has too much too much oscillation. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to draw this graph. So I have the function f of x equals, so 0 when x equals 0, and otherwise it's sine of 1 over x when x does not equal 0. So the reason why um, we have this kind of split up is so that we have a value for every value of x. And you can notice, right, with sine of 1 over x, you can't plug in x equals 0. So um, I will go ahead and just plot, I guess, so here's 0, 0. But here's actually what the graph of sine of 1 over x looks like. So I'll, I'll, I'll try, um, I'm just going to draw a really basic sketch of this just to kind of get the idea. So it's got like this kind of idea, and then it starts to oscillate kind of in the middle. And then at some point it kind of goes back out like this. So if you were to look up this function, so if, if you're trying to graph this on your own, just graph really sine of 1 over x and you'll kind of see this crazy part. So the thing is, as x approaches 0, you can't even tell what value it's, it's approaching, right? It's just going kind of back and forth all over. So this is another case then where the limit does not exist. And so you can just kind of take that for granted right away. So those are the three standard cases where a limit does not exist. So it's very specific places where it won't exist. So you want to actually be really careful to claim that a limit does not exist. You have to be able to kind of tie it to one of these cases if, if you are going to state it does not exist. Otherwise, you probably want to err on the side of it does exist. And I have lots of other videos where I kind of break that down and how to, you know, evaluate limits that do exist. So be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching.